Hey, my name is Benjamin and welcome to my channel where Russian speakers can learn English in a relaxed and natural way. I have a question for you. Would you pack your bags and move to a country that everyone says is very dangerous? Would you go somewhere if your home country's government told you not to go there under any circumstances? That's basically what I did, and I'll tell you all about it in this video. And most importantly, you're going to learn a lot of new English words. A lot of people ask me why I, as a British person, decided to move to Russia. And usually people ask me this question as if I had made a crazy decision. If you watch the news a lot, you would think that Russia is this scary place where the mafia controls everything and street children who sniff glue stop you in the street and steal your iPhone. Do you think that such stereotypes are true? I totally understand why people ask me about why I chose to move to Novosibirsk in Russia. People in the West don't know much about Russia and Eastern Europe, and many people have many bad stereotypes about this part of the world. And some stereotypes are based on historical events, such as the scary decade of the 1990s, when Russia was a dangerous place to live in, and many Russians fled Russia. Fled means that they left Russia and moved to America or Western Europe to live the American dream. And you can see what many Westerners think of Russians by watching English language films and playing video games. For instance, many of the famous James Bond films have Russian or Soviet villains the word villain means the bad or evil character in a story. And if you like to play Grand Theft Auto, also known as GTA or GTA in Russian, which is of course a very famous video game about crime, killing people and stealing cars, the main character of GTA 4 is a migrant from Eastern Europe, and he works with the Russian Mafia. There are many more examples in Western culture of Russia and Eastern Europe being shown as a violent and horrible region. I am going to say something controversial. You might disagree with me, but Russia now is a very different place than it was in the 1990s. I believe that Russia today, even with the current regional conflict, is where you can live the so-called American dream. Maybe I am crazy, but I think the American dream should be called the Russian dream. But what motivated me to move here in the first place? I'm not going to tell you my whole life story, but basically I have a nerdy fascination which made me very interested in Russia. I have always been fascinated by aviation and space travel. Russia and the Soviet Union naturally became very interesting for me, given that the first man in space, Yuri Gagarin, was from the Soviet Union and that the Soviet Union had several great aircraft manufacturers, including Tupolev and Ilyushin. Also, I have another passion, and maybe you have the same passion as me because you're watching this channel. I have always had a strong passion for learning languages. And after I finished school, 
I studied Russian and Italian at university. And a few years after graduating from university, I decided to make my passion for learning languages into my career and I became an English teacher. But I had an important choice to make. If I chose the wrong place to go and teach English, I would end up having little to no money. Maybe I would have lived a life of depression. Many people go to teach English in places like South Korea and they sign a job contract that at first looks good, but in the fine print of the job contract, hidden in the small details, there are many tricks that the language schools use to turn English teachers into slaves. I did not want to be a depressed slave. I did not want to fall into a trap. So given that I studied Russian and Italian at university, I thought that I should choose between becoming an English teacher in either Russia or Italy. And even though Italy is an amazing country, I thought Russia was so much more mysterious, exotic and exciting. Also, there are many native English teachers living in Italy and there are much fewer native English teachers living in Russia. And I thought that I would have more opportunities if I chose Russia. So in 2020, something huge happened. If you weren't living under a rock, you know what I am talking about. By the way, to be living under a rock is an idiom that we use to say that someone has no idea of what is happening in the world around them. But I'm sure you know everything that happened in 2020 because it affected everyone. But this period of time was quite useful for me because it gave me the opportunity to improve my professional skills and I used this time to contact many language schools across Russia. I received job offers from a few schools in Moscow and from one school in Novosibirsk. I thought I want to go to Russia to improve my Russian and to experience real Russia and Novosibirsk sounded like a much more exotic place than Moscow. You don't hear many stories of British people moving to Novosibirsk, whereas there are quite a lot of Brits living in Moscow and I wanted to have a more unique story. If I had moved to Moscow, I would have made friends with native English speakers and this would have meant that I would have less opportunities to practice and improve my knowledge of Russian. Don't get me wrong, Moscow would still be a great place to live, but to me Novosibirsk sounded so much more exciting and mysterious to me. So I packed my bags and headed to Siberia in the middle of the winter. Maybe in another video, I can continue this story and tell you about how I got settled in this wonderful and mysterious country. So thank you for watching this video until the end. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day and bye for now.